hit the subscribe button or visit us at auau.auanet.org. Radical dissection of the urogenital diaphragm fibers and the thickened, smooth, and striated muscle fibers connecting the posterior urethra and bladder plate to the diastatic pubic rami is crucial for adequate bladder extrophy and cloacal extrophy closure, as well as ensuring successful outcomes. Intraoperative MRI-guided navigation of the pelvic floor offers a novel technique for identification of the urogenital diaphragm fibers and the thickened muscular attachments between the posterior urethra, bladder plate, and pubic rami during closure, allowing identification of crucial anatomic landmarks and precise dissection in this crucial step of reconstructive surgery. IRB and FDA approval was obtained for use of Brain Lab intraoperative MRI guided navigation of the pelvic floor anatomy during closure of classic bladder extrophy and cloacal extrophy at our institution. Preoperative pelvic MRI was obtained one day prior to classic bladder extrophy or cloacal extrophy closure in patients necessitating pelvic osteotomies. The pediatric urologist and the pediatric radiologist sit and do intraoperative pelvic MRI planning prior to the procedure. Using iPlanNet Brain Lab computational system, bony pelvic anatomic landmarks and the pelvic muscular anatomy are drawn on the MRI. Pubo rectalis. Here we see 3D reconstruction of the pelvic floor anatomy in a bladder extrophy patient. Intraoperative registration is performed after preoperative planning with a pediatric radiologist and pediatric urologist utilizing bony anatomic landmarks. A reference array is attached to the patient via a head strap and the bony anatomic landmarks are pointed out using a stylet. This correlates to the MRI, which is loaded on the Brain Lab system. This step is performed prior to the pediatric orthopedic surgeon performing pelvic osteotomies. The patient's then prepped and draped, and osteotomies are performed. Anatomic accuracy is correlated and the soft tissue dissection is performed with guidance of the pelvic floor anatomy utilizing the MRI. The position of the tip of the stylet correlates with the MRI images on the screen of the Brain Lab computer. We see here the pelvic floor muscular anatomy outlined in color. There are axial, sagittal, and coronal images, as well as 3D reconstructive images. Brain Lab intraoperative MRI guided pelvic floor navigation and dissection is an effective way to accurately identify pelvic anatomy during classic bladder extrophy and cloacal extrophy closure. This technology offers a unique opportunity for surgical skill education in this complex reconstructive operation. It also allows for increased safety with the accurate identification of critical pelvic floor anatomy, as well as the potential for improved surgical outcomes. Future assessment of real-time changes in pelvic floor anatomy, comparing pre-closure to post-closure MRI, will allow for quantification of pelvic floor anatomy in classic bladder extrophy and cloacal extrophy patients. Brain Lab technology also allows for intra-institutional telementoring in this most important first step of extrovy reconstruction.